Hi, my name is Maria Gigliotti and I work at WUSF Public Media and I'm a Digital Technology Administrator. I do a little bit of everything. I do a lot of technical things. I do some creative stuff. I make graphics. I work on the websites, our newsletters, and our emails that go out. My collection of Barbies is special to me because they aren't actually the Barbies that I had when I was little. Those got thrown away and I'm sure I decapitated a few. And one of the ones that I worked hard to get was the romance novel Ken and Barbie. When I grew up, my grandmother read Harlequin romances all the time. And so I would steal her books and read them <laughs> when I was too young to probably be reading them. I feel like that was kind of a connection to my grandmother. Um, and I've always loved a romance novel. Fabio is, not Fabio, but Ken. Ken is romance guy. I like him. He's definitely one of my favorites. I don't want to say that I'm childlike, but I don't have children, so I am, I'm a really good aunt. Um, I was a big sister to a lot of younger sisters. And so I felt like once I started collecting a Barbie, then it was like, oh, well then I want this Barbie and I would look for different Barbies and I would use them in areas that most people don't put Barbies, which would be in my office. When I first started working at WUSF, I had a cube and it was pretty plain and I would slowly bring a Barbie and another Barbie until I had like 50 Barbies in my cube. But I found that that's my way of nesting, I guess, <laughs> like making myself feel comfortable. A friend of mine gave me this and was very upset that I took it out of the box. And I said, why wouldn't I take it out of the box? You can't play with it in a box. <laughs> I also really like Rosie O'Donnell. I like my Rosie O'Donnell. Lucille Ball when she was stomping the grapes. I do like things that can be a little uh, pop culture-ish, like this is the 50s Barbie, Coca-Cola Barbie, and she had a matching Frank Sinatra with her. And this is a, a more of an original Ken, maybe not the most original, but um, he had plastic hair back then. We've got Cha-Cha from Greece, and so she's special to me because uh, that was a, an important movie to me when I was young. I went to see Greece 21 times the summer of uh, that I was 13. Another one that was very special to me was started by a friend of mine. My friend gave this to me for my birthday just a couple of years ago. And she was embarrassed because she thought she was ordering the actual Barbie, but she was actually ordering the unicorn. But I loved him. I loved him better than Barbie Unicorn. And he does beautiful sounds. Like <laughs> uh, this is on my desk every day. I think that all of it represents a magical place. And as a child, I didn't feel like I was in a magical place. So as an adult, I get to be where I want to be. I just, I, I love all my Barbies. They're pretty cool.